Welcome to Kale Mahara with me, George Galloway, on Al Maidin Television, coming to you from London, but discussing Sudan. I'm so old, I was in Khartoum on the day that President Nameri was overthrown. There have been a few uh, Nameris since. I've seen them come and go. Uh, the history of Sudan is one of colonization and dictatorship, but for very brief interregnum. I interviewed the former dictator, uh, General Bashir, uh, seven years ago in Khartoum. He promised me that he would not, under any circumstances, stand for re-election for a further term. He promptly broke that promise and then was about to break it all over again. And the people of Sudan had had enough and they rose up in a huge swelling of popular democracy, protest, demands for the military to demit office and for the people to attain power. They succeeded and Bashir is now in jail, though I don't know where his money is and neither do the people of Sudan. But he has been replaced, not by popular power, but by a military transitional council of which one man is undoubtedly calling the shots. He's called General Hamdan, though nobody knows how he got to be a general as he has no military training. He has his own army. Argue, according to the New York Times, 50,000 fighters in his own militia. He's calling the shots. The uprising of the people of Sudan has been drowned in blood, at least for now, literally drowned in the Nile, with well over a hundred protesters murdered, well-attested examples of rape being used as a method of political terror, brutality, torture, all the usual paraphernalia of a military crackdown. The internet has been switched off, an internet which had been key to the communications of the people in the uprising. Uh, the uh, television news, never free, is now heavily militarized. The media is under the control of the men in khaki. The question is, on whose behalf are the new junta operating? What are their intentions? Who is behind them? And will the demands for popular power, people power in Sudan, succeed in reviving itself and will the people be able to realize the dream of popular democracy?